I'm going to tell you about a discovery that we made when we were looking at the embryos of the fruit fly, Drosophila. It was a small discovery, but it was important because it told us something fundamental about how mussels are made. Now, the larva of Drosophila under its skin has a very complex pattern of mussels shown here in this image. And the question that we wanted to answer was, how do you make a mussel pattern? Well, we know that in almost all animals, mussels are made by cells called myoblasts. And let's imagine that we have a field of myoblasts here, illustrated by the white dots. Now, what the myoblasts will do is that they will fuse together to form a syncytial structure, which is the future muscle. But the real question is, how do the myoblasts know which muscle to form? So there's one way of thinking about this which really says there's no problem. It says the myoblasts are already assigned to make particular muscles, and that's illustrated here with the different colours. So the cells fuse together and they produce a particular muscle. It has size, shape, and a particular pattern of innovation. But there's another way of thinking about this, which we preferred. And that's to say that actually the myoblasts, most of them, don't know anything at all. Um, but there are special cells, special myoblasts, which do know how to make muscles. And each one of these seeds the formation of a muscle by fusing with its surrounding neighboring myoblasts. And the result is just the same. We get muscles with specific size, shape, and innovation. But how do you tell the difference between these two? Because all the myoblasts actually look identical. So we had a stroke of luck. We found a mutant where the myoblasts don't fuse. And we had a crazy idea that maybe if the myoblasts don't fuse, then actually the seed myoblasts would reveal themselves by actually differentiating to form single-celled muscles. So we took our non-fusing mutant and we looked using a microscope and antibody staining, and this is what we found. We found beautiful, single-celled, miniature muscles with the right shape, not of course the right size, and most importantly, the right innovation. So the founder cells had actually revealed themselves to us. And that was very important because once they'd done that, we could go on to find out what were the genes that were expressed in these cells that made them make different muscles, and what was the protein that they secreted which caused the other myoblasts to aggregate and fuse with them. <laughs>